Rob Menzies and welcome back to my channel. Today we are heading off to Donington Racetrack for the first track day of the year for me for the year of 2021. Um, as any of my followers will know, every time I've been going on track for the last few years, I've been using small boys track hire bikes and doing exactly the same again today on their Kawasaki 636. So here we are at Donington Racetrack today. As you can see, everyone else is priming and prepping and getting set up. However, for me, um, I can go and leisurely check in. So, now that we are here, we've gone and checked in. What we need to now do is go and find the bike that we're going to be on today. And look at this opening up for me just as I arrive. So we can go in and have a bit of a look. Uh, all of the bikes from small boys has that for a lineup so get to pick and choose on which one i want by the looks of things i'm going to be going for the one down the end and uh, we're going to come in we're going to get the uh, gopro mount on the bike and the back seat's being taken off for me so we can put on the um we're going to put on the strap that i use for the uh for the airbag vest so we're going to get all that sorted and get ready, get in my leathers, and get ready to go. And just as I was walking around the paddock here in Donington, who should I see but Sylvain Gintoli, so MotoGP test rider. Um, so interested to see if he's actually going to be out on track or if he's just milling around today. Um, if you'd like to see what Sylvain Gintoli rides like, I did a video of him last year where he joined me on track. Check that one out up here. Um, and yeah, he's quick. He literally makes me look like I'm standing still. But um, there's normal people that ride motorbikes and then there's MotoGP riders. So you can get away with that one. But um, yeah, well let's see if we see him out on track. And if I do, then I will stick an image in just a minute. analytics for this session what I can pretty much see is all of my lap times seem to be very very similar again if you look at all of the sectors they look to be really similar as well but if we take the quickest lap which was lap 7 and then compare that with the slowest lap which was lap 4 we can then start doing, diving into the analytics and having a bit of a look at where I went on where I went wrong looking at it there seems to be a couple of areas that really jump out and actually it's right at the beginning of what's deemed as the lap as i'm coming down off the end of the first straight um, and coming down into the corner we can basically see miss my braking marker so if you look at the right hand image for the red graph and the left hand Im image for the white graph basically what you can see here is i overshot the corner missed the braking marker had to dive in deep and that then followed on onto the next straight where i basically didn't carry quite as much speed next thing was then as i was going to pass the official start finish straight um, as you come out of the first corner and you're then heading down through a complex of corners i basically missed a gear change and you can see that in uh, the power output that has been recorded and you can see that in the speed and what happened in this whole corner section but other than that if you actually look at the graphs for the rest of the lap it's really quite surprising how close they are and how consistent they are throughout the course of a lap really matching each other from the best lap to the last lap of uh, this particular session so i hope you enjoy it um, i'm just about to fire forward now you can watch a lap that is showing you my best lap so you get to see all the stats and then basically the full session keep an eye open for sylvan again at the back end of this session as you get to see him zoom past me
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please remember to not only like the video, but also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching, and see you again soon.